Hey guys, this is Naresh. So today we will talk about one of the important tool which is used in the market for doing a performance testing, which is JMeter, which is mainly used to test the performance of your application and mainly used for load testing. So let's begin with that. So first we have to download JMeter on our computer. So you can just type download JMeter and uh, it will show you the first link you can just click on that and in this the current version is 5.0 so you can download the binaries and you can click on this okay once you download that uh, let me just show you I have already placed it somewhere softwares okay it would be Apache JMeter okay so you just need to unzip this file of apache jmeter all right so i have done that apache jmeter okay and uh, you can just go into apache jmeter and go to bin and there's a file which is jmeter.bat so you just need to click on that file so that it can get started okay so it will show you a command prompt and it will start the batch file and that batch file will enable the JMeter on your PC. All right. So this is the first screen of JMeter. Okay. Let's understand the screen first. By default, it created a blank test plan for you. So test plan is something where we will keep all our test cases. Okay. So this is a blank test plan. Let me call it as test plan demo. Okay, so we will talk about all the other things also later on, but first we will see that uh, how we can run a sample script and slowly uh, we will go through all the details of each uh, functionality which is given in JMeter. Okay, and uh, one more thing that uh, as you know, JMeter is based on Java. Everything is created on the Java. So there are many things which we can do here, which we are doing in Java. And in the end, we can also see how we can run the same script using our Java framework. Or maybe if you already have some framework, a page object pattern framework, like uh, which you have developed for Selenium, APM or uh, Rest Assured or any other framework, you can integrate these. Uh, scripts into that so that is one of the benefit we get in JMeter and that is the only reason like JMeter is the most popular tool used in market till now for doing a performance testing all right so let's go ahead and see how do we go ahead and you know test the performance of any website okay so I have a website here if you see I have a sample website this is my website which I have created as a sample nothing much in this website just for the testing purpose, I have created it. So in that, uh, this is my website, which I want to test. I want to see what will happen to this website when its homepage is getting loaded. And uh, if there are more than one users, if the homepage crashes, if it's work fine, all those uh, data I want to collect. So that according to that, I can take a decision and I can make some changes in my website. Uh, maybe a developer can change, make the changes also, okay? All right, so this is a test plan. So the first step is you have to you have to do a right click on this, okay? And then you have to click on add. In add, you will see thread users, okay? And in thread users, there's an option called thread group. So you need to click on this thread group. So basically thread group is nothing but your user, okay? So what I will say, thread group, I will call it as user type one. All right, so this is a one set of user and here we are just keeping it everything default. I want one user is logging in and I want to see that timings and everything. Okay, so we have defined a group here. All right, now the next step what I want to do. So I will go to add again and then. Okay, so on thread group, I will do a right click then add okay so what i will do i want this user to send some request because whenever we are typing www.google.com or any other website it is actually sending a request to a server okay so there is a sampler which is called http request so i will click on that http request so this is a request which i want to send all right so for thread group user type one i am sending an http request okay and let me call this request for home page because i want to hit the home page so i will just give here the name of that so you can give any name 
all right and this is where i need to put the address of my website so if you go to your website you can just copy this okay this one all right and you can give your website here okay if you have a port number in your website you can give a port number all right that's it you don't have to give this HTTPS or HTTP because it will take it by default and by default it is a get method which we are trying so no need to change anything and I don't want to go to any other page I want to just check the first page the home page okay so I will give a slash here just to check you know it is a root page all right that's it now I have added the request here okay now again I will go here and uh, once I do a request, you know, I want to see that results, where my results are. So there are two ways I can see the results. One is view result tree. I will click on that. It will, you know, it, it's just like a report for us. Okay. And another is listener. Okay. And it would be view result in table. Okay. So it's all come under listeners. All right. So now, so if you see these are the two reports, this is a request, this is a group, and this is my test plan. Okay, so for thread group user one, and I can make it, you know, more uh, like I can give name like thread group user, uh, user type one for home page. So this is how I'm creating a test plan right now. Okay, so okay, it's uh, all right. So this is my thread group one. If I want, I can create multiple groups here, but right now I'm just creating one group and let's see what we have done so this is our test plan demo and this is a thread group which we have created under thread group i have hooked three elements one is http request through which i can hit on website and one is tree and one is table okay now let's try to run it so we can run it through different ways we can run it through the menu option run we can even run it from this button run and we can even do a right click and run my test plan okay but what i will do i will go ahead and run this option uh, from here from the top okay so if i click on that it will say you have to save it yes i want to save and let me call it test plan demo only that is fine so click on save okay so once it get run i just need to check the results if you go into tree it will show you the results right it show you some results and it show you the response data all right so this is the body which was sent and this is the response header okay so this is all my results so this is result this is request so this was a request which we have sent so it has sent a get request and it has sent with the https all right and this is the response data which we have got if you remember when we were working on the api testing this is what we always get we, we send a request we get a response so this is very similar to that okay but if you see here right now it's only one request right but what is the main advantage of using jmeter we can do the same thing from the api testing also from java the main advantage is you know you can do a load testing on this okay on the website so we can go to this user group and it says number of threads so it means number of users so i want that there are 10 users to which i want to check that 10 users are uh, you know testing at the same time and what is revamp period what i want i can give a revamp period like 20 so it's mean that i have given a revamp period of 20 seconds it means that within the 20 seconds that's 10 users will log in so if you divide 20 by 10 it will come with two seconds so that's mean every two seconds one user will log in and within this 20 seconds these 10 users will log in you can increase the number also on your need basis and after that there is a loop count to one so it will this uh, the entire thing will happen one time only okay but if i want the you know it it happened three times i can give three iterations if i want forever it can happen forever but then i have need to stop all the threads by myself but i don't want to do that let me you know let's let make it one only right now okay and we will see the results so what we will do here now we will clear the previous results so i will either click this which is clear or i will do clear all so it will clear all the results from the tree and from the table okay now again i can go to my test plan and then i can click on play and let's go to this result tree okay if you see here my all the requests are getting passed so okay and here also you will see that my one user is getting every added in every two seconds can you see this at the top right hand side where my pointer is all right so 10 users will get added and 
it's also everything is done okay so within 20 seconds all users get added and if you see here you know I can see a response and I can see it's a request which we have sent right okay so this is the way we you know do a parallel testing we do a multi we can you know create a multiple users and that can hit your website and then you can see if you are getting a correct results or not all right so thank you for watching this video and in the next video we will see some more features of this tool have a great day